Well, what are we going to do in this lesson? We're going to create a function that will average any list that is passed to it. So I'm going to create three lists. S equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. S1 equals 1, 4, 7. S2 equals 3.5, 5.5, and 7.5. The next thing I want to do is define my function. So I start off with def, D-E-F for define, and I'll call this AVG. And I'm going to take whatever is passed to this function and put it into a variable called something, and then a colon, backspace, one, two, three, four. Now total equals zero, four. Let's pick a variable Q for Q in something, colon. So I'm going to pass it one of these guys. It's going to get caught in here. And I'm going to walk through this. First Q will have 1, then Q will have 2, then Q will have 3, then 4, then 5. It's going to walk through S, which is passed to something. Q walks through something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. For Q and something, this is the only thing I want you to do. We'll invent the variable called total. That's going to be equal to whatever is in total plus whatever is in Q. So, the first time through this, Q will have 1. Total, which has nothing, is equal to itself, nothing, plus Q. That's 1. So, total now has 1. Jumps back up here. Q now has 2. Is looking at 2. And jumps down to this line. And total, which has 1, equals total which is 1, plus Q, that's 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Now total has 3. Jumps up to this line, Q jumps to the next guy. That's 3 now. Q has 3 in it. Total equals itself, which is 1 plus 2, and that's 3. Plus there's new 3. That's 6. Ooh. Now jumps up here, Q now is pointing to 4. Q has 4 in it now. Wow, what happens? Jump down here, total equals... 1 plus 2, that's 3, plus 3, that's 6, plus 4, that's now equal to 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. So total now has 10 in it. Jumps up here because we still got one more to go. Q is now equal to 5. Jumps down here. Total, which is equal to 10, is equal to itself. 10 plus what? Q, that's 5. So that's now 15. Total now has 15 in it. Okay, that's how this works. Now, the next thing I want to know is my for loop finishes. I now want to take the average variable, which I'm inventing on the fly. I'll call it Z average, because I don't want that to get con anyone to get confused with the function average. So I'll call this Z average, which is the average. I think that's French. Yes, Z average. Okay, that was bad. Okay, Z average equals what? Total, which is 15 divided by the length of that list that we passed to the variable something. something. So, the length of something is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five items in here. Here there are three items. Here there are three items. So it counts up the number of items on the list. So total, 15, divided by 5, and that gets sent over to Z average. So Z average ought to have three in it. Dollars to donuts, that's what it's got, three in there. And now I'm going to return average to the caller. But nobody called them yet. We're about to do that now. I'm going to call the average function. And I'm going to pass it S. Let's see what happens. I should get three. Oh, oh, what happened here? Immediately I see what happened. I forgot. I have Z average here, the variable, and I return Z average. Oh, I didn't spell it Z average. I used the American translation of Z average rather than the French translation. Oh, that's a good excuse. And I hit enter here and I'll key in Z average again. There we go. That should do it. Now, let's call this function again. I'm going to say average. And I'm going to pass it S. And I should get 3 now. Oh, when I do. That is just amazing. And I moved everything down a little bit so you can see all of the uh, lists. 
and the function. Now, let's do the next one, which is S1. Okay, I'm going to call average, and I'm going to pass it S1. Here we go. AVG, and I'm going to pass it S1, and I get back 4, which makes a lot of sense. Because 1 of 4 is 5, and 7 is 12. 12 divided by 3, 3 items here. That gives you 4. Let's do the last one, S2. I'm going to key in AVG, S2. And I get 5.5. .5. Let's, let's put that down here. 3.5. And here's 7.5. Guy in the middle is going to be 5.5. .5. Just works out that way. Well, how does it work out that way? Let's find out. Let's make sure this is clear. 3.5 .5 .5 plus 5.5 plus 7.5 equals 16.5. Now, I divide that by 3, and I get 5.5. .5. There he is.